so from what you are seeing at the beginning this is a simple pong game I've designed so that is the beauty of HTML so I'll be starting to this explanation with HTML so in continuation with our understanding of what programming language is all about I'll be focusing on HTML the major reason I'm picking HTML is because you don't need any special compiling software to compile this code as long as you have a web browser in your phone your web, your web browser takes care of compiling the code and displaying it and another aspect why I'm picking HTML is because it's much more easier for you to see your code in real time as you are doing the job and as well as understand some key things before going deep into it you have the aspect of your code that takes care of doing analysis calculation which in the case of uh, web development will have javascript and maybe possibly python you can incorporate other software but the key one is javascript which is the most commonly one then you have the aspect of your code that takes care of holding your content which, the, which is the document declaration this is what i'm showing you see it here the document type the document so this one takes care of your document just like the microsoft you use in typing words you type your words then how you want your words to appear where you want them to appear and how you want them to appear the color the alignment and most of other things is the, this top code i'm showing you which is the style sheet which is refers to a style sheet while in ordinary uh, microsoft is just uh, alignment and host of other features so it's the same thing with this thing, this code i'm showing you here this is it it's under html as well so i'm going to show you something very important when, when you're dealing with html there's what you call tag generally every programming languages every program most programming languages talks about what you call object oriented programming so in dealing with object oriented programming every item on the code is an object things that you see which you want your user to see and maybe some calculation that you want to, everything is object oriented which means everything is an object and in that object for the case of html we have what you call tags from the, from the beginning here you have what you call document declaration look at it this top you now have html in they are all in, in less than that uh, less than symbol and greater than symbol look at them this is the heading this is the title our web page this our web page when you come here come to this uh, web browser this is the real display you will see it it's a title look at it this way it will show you you can clearly see it our web page up here then this is our heading this heading uh, this is the body uh, this is the this is a heading so this heading look at it here look at it you can clearly see from that right up you can clearly see there as a display you can see the opening and closing tag this first h1 that is inside and uh, less than sign and greater than sign is opening call opening tag then this second one the second part of it that is as repeated with the four slash before the h1 is refers to a closing tag so the tag is just a combination of just a less than sign and a greater than sign then you now have your element in html we call them element you have the paragraph element which is p you have the heading element which is h you have uh, the title element which is normal title that you write you can you have your own user this defined element as you progresses that is as you go further and become an expert in the field then you now have for every element it has what you call um attribute just like for everything you see around you has characteristics every human being in object oriented programming is an object then everything you see your phone is an object it has color it has uh, functionalities it has a uh, design it has a uh, size so all these attributes by the time you put them you put them in front of your tag in between after the tag name then you now put the attribute then let me show you a simple example with something here that's what you call video video is an element look at it here look at it the eyes then the attribute we attach to it here are controls you have you see we have controls you have control you want all the control element for playing the video to shoot on it then you have it you want it to be auto play look at it do you want it to go to play 
you will now put auto play then you have the source the source too is a, is a tag look at it it's showing us the direction this is the direction of the sr source that is the title of the file look at it i'm going to play it you watch it it's directly on this web page you are seeing for now it will not play because i just removed one key feature there let me return the feature for you to see this is it once i introduce the file then we have what we call file extension when you are saving a file, look at it, save as. When you are doing every document or file you see on the system has what we call file extension. When you are saving document, it use the DOC format. If you are saving picture, you use the PNG format. Or uh, there are a lot of features. If you are, you have GIF, GIF. If you are saving video, you have MP4, uh, MWA, and a host of other MP5 as well. For audio, you have MP3, you have WAV, you have uh, MP1, and a host of other this thing. So let's save this one. Anytime you type this environment I'm showing you, this file editor I'm showing you, it's not the usual Microsoft Word file editor we use. We use what we call plain text editor. Although there are special software for typing codes that makes it easier for us to understand, but for the initials, for the starting, I'm using this one to give you a clue. If you are typing your code, you type it inside a plain text so that the plain text understand that you are typing code. It doesn't add some extra feature. If you use Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word will add some features that will not make it readable for the machine as a code. So with this, we want to save it to come to save as. Once we, once we click save as, this is our file name. After the file name, you have, by the time you put our page, which is the file name, or any file name you want to use, then you will now put dot. Then anything outside this dot is refers to our file extension. We are using HTML here because we are using HTML. You can put L at the end, no problem. You can use HTML or HTM. That means it is telling us that this is a web page. Then you now click save. Then you now save it. We now have this upper part. I talked about the document being the content. Sorry, the HD tags. The tags takes care of holding the content. Then you now have what you call the style. The style takes care of arranging your document, that is your content on the web page, how you want them to appear. This is it. You can clearly see. It starts with the style tag. This is the beginning of it. This style you are seeing. It's telling us the style, how we want it to appear. This is the closing tag. Then it's telling us B, BD, which is the body. Then this opening bracket and closing bracket is telling us our string of instruction. Then we have the background. What background color do we have? We want light, light blue. That is why you are seeing it here as light blue. We have we say H1 color white. Color you see column in front, white. Then you now have it. It's, you see it is it's actually showing white. Then you now have font family Vade Vad, Vadena, which is for the paragraph, which is P. You are seeing it. So you pick the tag name, you pick the tag name just like P here. Then you will now bring it here. Then you now use this to save it. Thank you.